the best thing about our office is the great artwork on the walls. It was a heavy year. I think in a lot of ways, the people who were used to knowing things no longer had all the answers. There was a lot of shuttered venues and shuttered programs. We faced a combination of a global pandemic and a tanking stock market. Everyone's on the phone or everyone's on Zoom. The community said help and we listened. You have to change directions quickly because of the basis of need. The biggest challenge was figuring out how to deploy the resources we had, how to use them to leverage other resources. And then we convened our folks, our people around the state. Different organizations looked at how they could um, provide those in-person experiences in a new format, I think really helped build special connections that weren't there before and I think are going to continue. One of the positive things that came out of the pandemic is the lens that it put on the importance of supporting individual artists. We also did a special round of grants for technology. It was really unique to see an organization adapt so quickly. From 2020, I think I'm just holding on to the sense of community that Alaskans have always brought, but it became more apparent and important than ever. Being able to see a little glimpse of people's lives outside of the office space. I had a few moments where I was like, I have to move back to my village because I, I can't live without those people. I see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. I just feel like those connections are gonna be critical for the rest of my life. I think there's a whole new focus on public health that um, we haven't seen before. And there's a whole new piece, of course, remote working and learning in rural areas that's, um, to me, opened a lot more participation. The pandemic has magnified for me how we can use our voice to speak to others who are in power, to make the case for our nonprofit organizations, people who are living in poverty, people who are living in very remote rural communities, people who don't speak English as their first language, people who don't have adequate childcare, people who don't have adequate access to healthcare, people who can sometimes be ignored or not seen when people are making policy decisions. One word I'm taking with me is joy. Here's one word. Fortitude. One word. <sighs> Imagination. Unapologetic. Accessibility. Creativity. And my second word. <laughs> Resilience. Inclusivity. Breathe. Grateful. Maybe hope. Hope.